Hey guys, Sage, welcome back. So just going to hit a couple of balls, haven't got much time, guys. But I just want to, in part of the the exploration uh, and development road that we're going down with the Bruin swing, no question in my mind that Jimmy Bruin was a, a as a kid played hurling. Now hurling is a national sport in Ireland, and they use a thing called a hurley, and it looks like a looks like a long pizza paddle. It's like a hockey stick, but it's round on the end and flat. And they have a thing called a, a ball, like a baseball. And what they do is they, they're running around and they have the baseball in the hand. And when they're going, they have to put the ball on there and they have to carry it like that. So it's like a pizza paddle. But when they're going to hit a shot, they just knock it up in the air, grab it, and then they throw the ball up in the air. And as they throw the ball in the air, this trail arm does this. You watch it, guy. They throw it up and the trail arm does that. Then this comes across to connect. They go, they go, and then, and then from here, guys, the club drops back inside. And that's what we see in Jimmy Bruin's golf swing. Now, what I have to try and do somehow is manifest that feeling. That's what I've got to do. I have to manifest that trail arm being out there without the feeling of the left, the left hand and left arm controlling it. It's got to be out there. So, as they do, they go, and here he is, that's where he is. And they go from there into here. Just pull up on YouTube, hurling, and have a look. And pull up a couple of videos that say, um, hurling crossbar challenge, where the guys, a bunch of guys are just trying to hit the crossbar the goalie crossbar, like a soccer crossbar, and they're firing shots from you know, about 40 yards away, trying to hit the crossbar. And you'll see from behind it, they do that. They do that. So I'm going to be a hurler here, and not a and not a uh, not a golfer. Take it Got four on here, guys. <laughs> Now, all you've got to do is manifest that feeling in the brain. I need something like that. I just need something in my brain that will give me the feeling of this golf swing. That's all I need. That's what I need. And that's it. I feel like I'm doing this. There you go. And guys, when they throw the ball up, they push the arm down like that. It's a push down and then it goes up. What I've been doing is I've been taking it up too early off the ball. They actually push it down. Strong left to right wind here, guys. Trying to blow it over that fence. All right, now all I've got to do is do that with a lot more range of motion. That's what I've got to do. Feel like I'm throwing the ball. Just can't get myself to take the club back far enough. Got to get it really, you know, put a fair bit of height on it. I'm just shutting down the backswing. It's just. I'm just not taking it back because I'm just trying to build the feeling. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build the feeling. Just trying to knock the ball down into that wind. I've got to feel this. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a swing like that. I'm not going to take it back like that and then bring that across. Wouldn't that be a funny golf swing? Wouldn't that be a funny golf swing? Come on, Jase.
they're very easy type shots guys because I'm just trying to get the feel of the process I'm, I'm not trying to to kill it Boy, that's gone a long way. Whew, has that gone a long way? My goodness. That's gone miles. And I felt the load. <clears throat> I felt the load on that, guys. I've got to stay here because I'm in front of the camera. Wind is really strong left to right. Come on, Chase. Yeah. Now it feels a very leisurely type golf swing. Very leisurely. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I need to actually take it back there and then bring this lead arm across but then I'd have a uh, I'd have a uh, you know like a two-handed grip a baseball type grip rather than a because um, it'd be hard to get the the Varden grip established but when and when when doing that it'd be very difficult to do let's hit one this way and try that just for fun yeah. And bring it across. Oh, I just smacked that. Smashed it. Now we're not going to do a swing like that, are we? Well, let me tell you. If it worked better than any other swing, that's exactly what I'd do. But that was this. Wow, if I could just take it back further. It's amazing I can hit that. I'm scared to death of it. But if I could take it back further <clears throat> and then I can give myself time to attach that lead hand. And I drop that. Drop that. But anyway, we don't want to do that. But that's what but that's what that's what was happening in that Hurley type uh, action. <laughs> that first shot I hit just cleared that tree by miles over there. Okay, just conventional, here we go. With Jimmy. Just not enough. Um, range of motion in that backswing. Nowhere near enough. Just not taking it back far enough, guys. That's why there's not enough speed on it to generate the spin to flight it. Wind is really strong on my back. Just trying to hold that down. The ball gets up, it just goes over the fence there. But guys, that's what I'm trying to do. 
what I'm trying to do is basically somehow work out how to get out here. And that's what they do in the hurling. They go here, and then they bring it across, and then they hit it. I could do that. It's amazingly into out. Amazingly into out. See how the club drops inside? That's what we want to get. It's hard because you think you're going to lose the club. You really get a lot of download. Lots of download. Now if I can release that lower I got two hands on the club now, look. Ah, look at this. That's what all I had to do. Had to get that separation drill. Look at this now. Got no balls. <laughs> the, uh, the guy I'm giving a lesson to is bringing the balls up. And I just, I thought there was some in the buggy, but there was only a few in there. But look at this guy, look. There we go, we've got it. We got it. And there's that Jimmy bang into the ground. How's that? I mean, how is that? Man, I'm just clamping that like you wouldn't believe. Wow. I'm not a divot taker, but this gives so much down thrust. Just hammering the ground. I mean, I can't believe how much down there is. It's huge. Oh, guys, I've never, ever Never had that much down on a shot, ever. But we saw that with Jimmy, he really clamped it. Guy, the speed on that is off the scale. I don't know what I swing a four on that, you know, probably 85 mile an hour. But that feels like 95, or even 100. That's really going. Look at this. Who said I couldn't get it out there? Some of you guys said I couldn't get it out there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a whole session for an hour just doing that. Digging up the ground. That's physical, guys. That's a lot of energy in that. But I'm going to do a whole session just doing that. Because that'll give me the feel. The divot pattern's about 
15, 20 degrees into out. So there's a lot of back load, a lot of back load. And you'll see it front on. And guys, I, I know I'm getting a lot of download and a lot of back load, a lot. Have a look at that on slow-mo. <laughs> oh wow. That's what I've got to do. I've got to do a whole session of that. Like for an hour or two hours. Come on, Jay. I've never ever had that much down on a shot. I'm a sweeper, but that's down. That would put so much clamp on the ball. Why? Well, it'll spin a lot with the irons. Uh, but that's extraordinary. I never dig up the ground, but that's because there's so much backload and download on that. Guys, there's so much speed on that. That's the practice regime, guys. That's what we've got to do. That's how you get it out there. I can't wait to see this on video because no question I'm getting it out there. No question. I can feel, I can see the shadows. Okay, what a breakthrough. What a breakthrough. That hurley throwing the ball up. Yeah. Got the ball, throw it up. Clubs in, then it drops back. So it's, that's what I've got to feel. I've got to feel like I'm throwing the ball and then it drops back. Big breakthrough today, guys. Herculean or Hurlicolean. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I've never ever had that much down clamp on a shot in my life. That's amazing. So that clearly changes the shoulder pitch because I'm really, really... Uh, horizontal with my shoulder and I have a lot of pitch but I must have a lot of trail shoulder pitch to, to get the club going into the ground that hard but the speed down there is just fantastic ok guys um, very exciting breakthrough very exciting breakthrough and to uh, to one of our channel watchers uh, an Irish guy in, in, in Ireland obviously Donald Mooney Donald, what I said to you in that video I sent to you about the hurling, that's what I saw, buddy. I saw this action. That's what I saw. So, um, and Donald is, um, as a kid, played hurling. And so he, uh, he totally concurs with what I'm suggesting. So, just got to propagate this, guys. There it is. We throw the ball up, back in. We throw the ball up, back in. 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 Okay, that was a bit here. Okay, throw it out there, Jase. Throw it out there. Throw it out there. Huh. They're going to put some new drainage in here. They won't have to dig the trenches. I've already dug it for them. I've never had that much down on a shot ever. Can't wait to see what the ball flies like. Okay, guys, got to do this lesson. Uh, tomorrow, I'll, I'll do a session for probably an hour, and then I'll hit some balls, and we'll see what it looks like. Wow. <laughs>